Okay, so I'm going to show you how I shear a sheep, um, and the method I use is, came from New Zealand probably over a hundred years ago. And it's probably been refined a little, but basically it's the same as it's always been. And the, the purpose of the method is to get the fleece off the sheep in one whole piece. So you got some sheep here, I guess you can see them, and some more, and okay. Now I got a, my back, I'm, I'm a lot older than I used to be and my back is no longer as good as it used to be. And I've been shearing sheep for almost 40 years. So this, uh, I got two back braces on here to help support my back because bending over is tough but standing back up after being bent over is even worse. Okay. Okay, so what this is, is another support that I use. I got it last year, it came from England, it's for sheep shearers. It's got some springs and it helps support me when I when I stick this on my chest it helps hold me up which takes a lot of pressure off my back and it's a big help okay so we'll get going and I'll stop and talk about each spot when I get ready okay so these are the clippers I use these are electric and they're made well I think I think they were made over in I'm not sure where they were made maybe England initially but they've been bought out by another company. Anyway, you can see the cutters and the, com the combs and the cutters, and this is very, this could hurt you. The, the, you have to keep the skin real tight so that nothing goes up in here and gets cut. Okay, so I'm gonna start on the brisket and the belly wool, and we'll go from there. You have, to be, you have to be real careful around the belly because it's curled up and there's a lot of wrinkles and it's a, pretty much a way, a, an area that can get cut very easily. So I have to go slow and be careful with it. So now I switched her around a little, and I'm going to do this back, back leg here. This is where I would shear the top of the head, but she doesn't have anything except some horns. All right, so next step is going to be called what we call opening up the neck. All right, she's a little sheep, so she's a little harder to handle, but I think I can handle it. First sheep of the day, so it's, it's doable. Okay, 
So now this is a special hold with my with my knees. Lots of wrink lots of wrinkle you see this blood that's me. Um, lots of wrinkles here on the, around this shoulder, front shoulder. Now I'm going to lay her down, and this is usually where Cheryl, who's taking the video, helps me. But since this is a small sheep, I think I can handle it. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Yeah, there we go. Be a good sheep, Maggie. She's got that goat-like agility of the Jacob sheep, but we'll see. So now, right now, I've got my uh, foot underneath her other shoulder blade, and that keeps her from touching the ground, and that helps a lot. I'm mainly using my knees and you know other parts of my lower body to hold her in place. So you see me using my knee here to try to roll her up a little to get around the backbone. Now I'm going to lift her up and this becomes a delicate place for me because she doesn't want to twist the right way. But we're going to try it. <laughs> they know how to use their horns. Give me that. Give me that horn. Alright, you might come over here. It's important to uh, hold these clippers at such an angle that they shear in, next to the skin instead of up off the skin. If you do it too far up off the skin, you get second cuts which are like these. And that's not good for the final product. So, so this is again, I'm trying to keep all the skin stretched tight, so I'm trying to bowl her out. And this is a position where you stick her head back behind your knees, and then she, you know, it's got, it's extended here.
<clears throat> another position where I'm using my hand, left hand to pull tight like this and you'll see me lift up this leg and tighten on this too when I get to it. One last thing on, I'm done here I think, maybe, hopefully. There's a hamstring back in here and it's very possible if you're not very careful that you can cut it, especially with these wide clippers. Cut. I've never done that, but um, it, is a, it is a potential area. All right, so that, that's not much of a fleece, but she's a, an older you and she's got some pretty colors in her. You can let her up. She right. might be done. We'll clip off whatever is isn't. This is Maggie. She's a heritage breed okay, Jacob sheep. She has a little poodle pom pom. And that's oh, and we'll we'll, we'll trim that off. The yeah. There we go. So she's a very tiny ewe. This is a, a heritage breed. They they aren't like the big modern big bone big muscled sheep. So she's small. She's older. She has a beautiful fleece with a soft hand, and that's a nice size fleece for her. But obviously she's I don't even know if she weighs 125 if pounds. She jumps through the door. Yeah. Like okay, Maggie. You want to give her a peanut? Oh, yeah, There's some up there. You did a good job. Oh, Bye, Maggie. Yeah. Nope, she didn't jump. Okay. Okay. There you go. And we might stop and do a couple more videos here along the way, partial sheep shearing. <coughs> but anyway, that's sort of the gist of it. And that was the, the Jacob, sounds like a goat. Bleh. That's the Jacob boss. So, even sounds different than the modern sheep breed boss. You know, the more, you've done, the more you do this, just like any other uh, profession, the easier it, it gets and the easier it looks like it is to the people who watch. And it appeared pretty easy probably for you watching this and, and it wasn't hard but that's only because I'm controlling the sheep 100% they don't want to be there and if they have the chance they're going to get up and when they get up they take this wool and they spread it all over the room and then you're trying to catch them and put them back up and it's you know it can be very frustrating so but I've been doing this for a long 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 time and uh, you know it's all natural my back is the worst part right now. So there you go. Oh, this is a much better thing.
Okay, I'm gonna go for, open up the neck. She's a big sheep, but she's got some really nice soft fur. Oh. The cord is always a problem. All right, gotcha. Here we go. Try to lay her down, or I'm gonna to try to hold her down while I lay her down. We'll see how it goes. She's pretty calm. Pretty calm. Come on, girl. Move over there. You go. Uh. Metal tag. That was the metal tag. Probably hurt the clippers more than anything. I don't know if you can hear that, but the clippers are definitely now bogging down. I'll get her, I'll get her done, then I have to change them. Uh, that's what happens when you run into metal. Come on. All of our sheep have metal ear tags to identify them. Um, they're not all that distinctive where we can tell them all apart, especially not through the decades. Uh, so it's good to have an ear tag as a positive ID on them. I mean, I 
make sure. Oops, she's I need I need to trim her feet when you're done. Oops, still a little bit. This is the hard part getting the last one. <laughs> I think we still have a little more. We can get it after hook trimming. Okay, so now I turn her over to Cheryl and she trims her hose. All done here.